Charlie Cannons, Charlie Cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates. Welcome, everyone, to a, uh, a rare win streak this season. Look at this, three wins in a row. The glorious three <laughs> blue a, dots. It's amazing. Uh, and way we're better than three losses in a row. The evil Sky Corp oh. bought out Team Skywater, my goodness. They're not having a good season again. No right. surprises. No uh, surprises. Mm -hmm. And we clogged our way back up into uh, the standings. We're above the fold. We got a game between. We, we can lose a game right. safely right but now. So many but seven to nines though, geez. There, it's a lot, it's pretty, yeah, competitive <laughs> down down one level in the standings. So what we really need to happen though is for the Dragons to defeat the Bombers and for the Cyclones to beat the Rebels. Yes. There we the go. The Rebels. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All women, the Rebels. <laughs> I like it. Re our conversation about bells. <laughs> All right, here we go. And it is skywatering all over the place. Oh. And we there really, really need to beat Team, beat team Skywater. We really do. So, like, no one wants to lose. I'm sorry, the team formerly known as Skywater. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yes, the bad team formerly known as Skywater. situation. <laughs> How did that even I, happen? I kept thinking you were going to reverse. Uh, yeah, I kept thinking you were, and then you did. All right, I don't know why that ball's not going forward. Though. Okay, cool. All right, so no, it appears no goal in the first 15 seconds, so let's go ahead with a question. Ball is on center, y'all. This I is from it. Charlotte. Charlotte oh. asks, uh, I really enjoy singing, and I'm in my school choir, but I don't have a lot of confidence. I'm fine when I'm with people who I know won't care if I'm not good, and I sing just randomly, like, all of the time. But uh. when I'm in choir, I feel wow. like everyone's judging me. I guess oh, it's no! because they're all really good singers, way better than me, hmm. and just as a group, they're kind of judgy. And of course, they can tell when I'm doing something wrong, so as a result, I get really timid. I've actually noticed that it negatively affects my ability to sing in general, oh, yeah. because stress and nerves mess with my voice. This is turning something I really enjoy into something really stressful, and I haven't auditioned for any solos because of this. Oh, I guess man. what I'm asking is how do I get more confident in singing around people who are better than me? Here's what I would wager, is that you also notice other people who are not... Oh, oh my gosh. I feel like we are just... This has been an, uh, an episode of all bumps. I just keep getting bumped in the wrong direction. There, Oh, look. that was me. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I thought that I We're had all in each before. other's way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my bet would be that... Uh, question asker. Ace. Oh gosh, we're gonna just Ooh, barely babe. miss. Uh, oh, oh, oh! I got it! Yes! Uh, that you also notice imperfections in other people's voices or singing, but that you actually don't end up judging them that much. And uh, I would bet, similarly, even if people notice, they are not judging you to the caliber to which you think they are. Yeah. I was going to say the exact same thing. I, I was going to say, person, I think you are wrong about two things. I think, one, they are not all better than you are, and two, I don't think that they're a judgy bunch. Yeah. That is that is my hunch, my feeling. Hunching up the bunch. Hunching up a bunch. Um, i that in. Oh, I tried. I tried real um, hard. I committed to it. We're full. Position up. Um, I will say also that when it comes to singing, the more confidence you can sing with, the better you're going to be singing with. Uh, you, I mean, just being a timid singer is not super great. Um, and uh, I think that it's a bit of a um, cycle. Ooh, that's and a that, goal. Is that, it's the uh, one. This is the goal, though. Oh, come oh, on. Man, Give me the shot on. Stole it? Okay. Yeah, um, I mean, if... Oh, sorry, um, go ahead. I was gonna say that I, I actually also feel that when I was in high school, I suffered from this exact same thing where I, uh, during cross country workouts, was very competitive with everybody Oof. on my team. Like I, I oh, would have been just on, as fast as the uh, so close. the absolute top tier of, of our team. But when it came to races, I, I had no expectation that in the race, I was supposed to be out front. Mm -hmm. And I think as a result, I literally held myself back because mental of my block. own mental block, yeah. Um, and it was one of these like weird things where I, where I, I have always tried to attribute it to one thing or another. Where like uh, I went from my ninth grade year on the J, not even on the JV squad. I didn't even make the top 14 on the team. I was 15th. Mm -hmm. uh, and then my sophomore year, I literally jumped the JV squad all together and was uh, on the varsity team. No kidding. Right. And so, so I but never like low end of varsity. Low end of varsity. Yeah. So I was like six seven on the varsity team. Oh my gosh. But this it is meant terrible. missing that I never got to like just go and win. Oh my goodness gracious! That JV was the races. Most epic save. 
Um, so you, yeah, you never get to like win. Yeah, like if they just put you in the JV races that year, and you could have like won every race, then you'd just be like, this is how I, this is how to win. Right, this is how to win. This is what it feels like to be out front and be making a difference, right. like, in the game where I am competitive. And so instead, nice, I, nice. Just, I just spent Boom. every race all through cross country expecting to be about, you know, 50, 60 percentile. Right, like you tell race. yourself, like, I'm not really that, this is where I finish in the race. Right. I, but, I feel like I suffer from the same thing yeah. to some extent. I don't think I was ever quite as fast as you were in cross country, but like, yeah, I, I like had all these improvements my first year, and then I was just like, yeah, the, I, I'm about a 19 minute 5K guy here. That's where I'm gonna finish for the rest of the, the next four years. <laughs> like, like yeah, I know, I know the speed I can run a 5K. Yeah, I'm darn consistent too. Yeah. Yeah. I can <laughs> run really fast in practice, but I know how to run in races. And uh, that's funny. Oh, and I actually even think with uh, mo more recently with rock climbing, I experienced this where um, it's it is probably one of the few sports that I've ever picked up and felt like maybe I was like naturally gifted at it, like I, I had like a knack for it. Um, but when it when it came to, to like the local competition at our local climbing gym, I totally like choked. Oh, oh. What? what? We were both sitting right. All there. three of us were there. Oof! How did that <clears> happen? <throat> Yep. Oh, I wow. don't even know. What wow, that was. What you know how like there's the it. osmosis goal. Do you guys ever feel like sometimes they counted a goal a little faster than other times? <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um. So in this situation, <clears throat> there you go, my inclination is that it sounds like she's suffering from imposter syndrome. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's that's like, very much it. Like you, you don't think you belong amongst the, these other people who you whose skill you respect, <laughs> right? Um. I, you know, what I think would be a really interesting way to approach this is to go and do the activity outside of that environment and prove to yourself that you are, in fact, good at it when you're not sizing yourself uh -oh. up to these other Ooh. people. That like, is a good way to do it. Go, right? go sing karaoke at karaoke Yeah, I was going to say that. Just do karaoke. And straight and, and like, it. Get some, like, super uh, belty song uh, that you can just... Like, whoop. like wagon wheel. Yeah, like what? Wagon wheel? What the heck is wagon wheel? Rock what rock me? Darius Rucker? Yeah. Darius Rucker slash I don't, I don't know old crow You don't know the song wagon oh, wheel. I Derek. literally, I did not know you were talking about a song until you explained oh, it to me. Oh my song. gosh. Derek. Okay, between between games on this episode, we're just going to need to play wagon oh, wheel. Right. Anyway. Rock me I also don't have confidence in my singing. Oh, and that makes it so that it's, it doesn't sound as, as good. Like it's yeah, not being tentative with it. Yeah, if you uh, just go for it. Right, no, I, I, I we got it. Yay! What? And we're in the lead, y'all. And I got a hat trick. All right, now, guys, look at my amazing hardcore shot. Hardcore four yeah. seconds of defense. Hashtag calculated. Whoa! Boom. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wait, right. are you guys being quiet for something? No, no, no. Something happened. Something, something was happened. Something was the foot. Something was. Every the once foot. in a while. Giggles. The. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Just like that. The uh, power friendship that is Derek and Jordan will have these silent conversations with each other, and then it's just like, what me, happened? Me and they're and like, no, we, we've got it, we've got it, it's all good. <laughs> it's like, ah, but, what but what happened? Though? I want in on the secret. Aw, sorry guys. Secret secrets secret, are guys, no fun. You guys can communicate with each other blindly. Yeah, that happens all the time. And I think it's time for a message from our sponsor, which is just our entire Super Carlin Gaming Patreon page, where for the uh, $25 a month level, you can be right here in the spot where I'm talking, telling me and or Ben and or Derek what to say. If you have a message for the audience, let us know. Go ahead and uh, check us out at patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. There's all sorts of really cool things you can do. We've had somebody ask someone to prom on mm -hmm. the platform, yeah. say happy birthday to the grandmother of some dogs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Which we totally knew were dogs the whole totally time. Totally knew were dogs. Um, we're learning all sorts of cool things about you guys, or if there's just like a charity that you want to support and you'd like to be able to present it to our listeners. That's something we can do. It totally is something we can do. And we'd be happy to. 
And there's lots of other perks over on the Patreon page too, like gaming with you guys oh, or yeah. Oh, yeah. the Discord. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Discord $3 access. Three dollar a month Discord access. That's where it's at. That's where the Super Carlin Brother slash Gaming Community lives. Woo! And if you join through the gaming uh, Patreon, there is actually a special little chat room yeah. that you get yeah. access yeah. to yeah. as a result. The cross country team. That's the what cross we country it. team. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So good. How perfect. Such um, a good joke. Also, if you are under the age of 18 or your parents are slightly skeptical of the idea of joining an online community, we actually did recently put together an entire parental guidelines list that they can take a look over and kind of get an idea of what the community is like and just kind of the reassurance that it is completely safe yeah, and our cool. moderators do just honestly tremendous work tremendous. to make sure that it is a happy, safe environment for all. See you there! Bye! Well, not by, we're still here. Yeah. <laughs> we have to play the Rebels. We're here, we gotta get one more. Yeah. Yeah. But that's how I like to close things, so. Yeah, right? Let's play. Let's play! Uh, the Rebel, or it was the Rebels, and uh, I forget what the other team it's was. Like both lost. Oh, yeah. did they? Okay, yeah. so we can really so make a three-way tie for oh. second, third, fourth. So if we win right now, we can be in second place overall. Y'all focus up. Focus ups. Um. So uh, I, uh, in doing theater, uh, did musicals, mm -hmm. and I hate singing in front of people. I think it's terrifying. Oh, for uh, sure. And uh, one of the things that I was able to do that maybe, I don't know, maybe could help you, could help you, um, is if I was playing a character and singing, then it was uh, less of a big deal because instead of like other people judging my voice, uh, it was, it was judging the character's voice. voice. Exactly, right, exactly. Oh, that's really clever. <clears throat> exactly, um, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um, but that was always a, a, a very uh, a good trick. Uh, I've always felt like uh, if I like, I haven't. It hasn't frequently happened, oh. man. Um, but like, yeah. If, if ever I'm in like a, a situation of like Halloween or something where you're wearing a mask and people just don't know who it is oh. under the mask, yeah. it's like weirdly liberating. Oh, like, it like, is. You are not. You're not, you, you can't be anyone right now. I so, yeah, um, very, very early on when Alice and I were dating, she'd invited me to a Halloween party and I had one of those inflatable T-Rex costumes. Right. And I remember getting <laughs> to the party and I walk in and honestly, like I didn't know anybody and I was super intimidated by just like this whole group of friends that she had and it was like a, it was a thing for me. But I was in the T-Rex costume, so I walk in the door and sure enough, because I'm wearing it, somebody walks up to me and immediately starts dancing with me, just like, you know, full-fledged like party break dancing with like right. the, the circle of people around. And I'm not someone who is at all a competent dancer. And I was like, yes, <laughs> let's do it. Go, because it's not even Ben. No one knows this is um, Ben dancing. Yeah, this here. is not Ben dancing. This is T-Rex right. dancing. Right. right, and Allie right. was even like, I love that you just like rolled with that. And I've always, I felt like an imposter actually since then because I'm like, <laughs> you liked a characteristic about me that I actually hate about myself. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe it is in you. Maybe what you're really afraid of is people seeing you do it, not, mm, not that's the actual true. act of that's doing true. it. Like you're, yeah. You want to know actually where my fear of dancing? When we were probably, Jay, Oof. like 13, 14, our mm -hmm. aunt got married and we were invited yeah. to the wedding. Sure, yeah. And I remember it was a big thing Ooh. because there was going to be dancing at the wedding. Yeah. And like, Obviously, we were kids, yeah. and it's not like there were other 13, 14 year old oh, girls to right. be dancing with. So I remember like going out there, and it was like, how do you dance by yourself? Right, you just like and rock back and forth. So everybody, like all of our aunts and uncles and stuff, were like giving us these instructions on how to on how to get out there and you know get down with it. Woo! And, woo! Nice, Jay. just like that. And I saw footage of us dancing, and oh. I'm like, I'm not smiling. I'm like stone faced. <laughs> Can't have fun with it. Just yeah. like, like, just don't, don't, don't. don't. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, uh, but like, isn't I, it? Uh, sorry, I was uh, dancing for the rest of these guys to see. Yeah. Isn't it crazy oh, how, uh, like, like a little events like that? Yeah, a little like like childhood things. Like realistically, that was meant nothing at all. Oh no, of course but, not. But it's right. that that experience that when you had that you were younger. It's like. Uh, I recently heard a term that I uh, uh, love that it's a term, but hate the actual thing, where it's math trauma. Oh, uh, no. Oh. You're there. Oh, I, I have up, ideas. Please explain math trauma. Yeah, well, essentially, uh, somebody like fails to realize some small exception in their sixth grade math class and then spends the rest of their life saying, oh, I'm bad at math. I hate math. Math sucks. Um, right. And it's, 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 it's super interesting. I wonder if there's anything like that with, uh, uh, shoot, what was her name? 
Charlotte. Charlotte. I'm wondering if Charlotte is having that issue. Like if someone pointed something out. Yeah, like if, if, if maybe one time uh, she was off key on, on something, which which happens. Like you can be off. It's it's totally fine. That's old. Oh, okay, this is another thing I was going to say when it comes to singing and like the character voice thing, because when uh, someone is judging your voice, it feels way more like they are judging you. Oh sure. Uh, rather than like your instrument. Ah, um, uh, right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, oh shoot. Almost there. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know. I mean, I think that all of you guys. So, so Ben, you you sing and you hum all the time. Wow, good save. And Thank can you. carry a tune really, really well. So the fact that you think that you can't sing surprises me. That surprises me. Honestly, it feels great to hear you say that because I yeah, it's not something. Yeah, that and I, that's the thing that like the the confidence of it, like yeah. just being. Karaoke bars in. Oh my gosh, I I have talked about this before, but like <laughs> I would sooner bungee jump than sing karaoke. <laughs> like, and, and, and it's not even kind of close. It's like this is literally true because you have bungee jumped and never <laughs> and never karaoke. Not, not, not so well. Not we, like I mean like as a group we've done karaoke. We did. Yeah, oh, yeah. Tyler's yeah. at Tyler's bachelor party we were up yeah. on stage singing Journey and that was fun. Yeah. Um, um, kind of a soft. I feel part. like uh, we should go to sing some karaoke and you can do like Cotton Eye Joe or something. Or like Wagon oh Wheel. Oh my gosh. Or like what? Wagon yeah, Wheel. Yeah, whatever that song okay. is. Yeah, yeah, Question. Wagon Wheel. Would, would it be, <laughs> I can't believe you. Would it be intimidating to sing at a karaoke bar out and about? Or or if like I had people over and we did karaoke on like my big TV? And... Oh no. I think it would, I would be much better to do amongst strangers. Yeah, I think I would I would almost rather the T-Rex costume be on. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. T-Rex Oki. What? Yeah. And that's the character thing, right? Like my yeah. my big right, recommendation yeah, yeah, yeah. for people who want to for, for men specifically who want to do that is the Shania Twain "Man, I Feel Like a Woman" song because it's, it's going it's, to be because it's going to be regardless. ridiculous no matter what. That's kind of yeah. like oops. Oh, oh I did yes, it. good. Uh, I thought that I missed it. Um, uh, I mean, I, I I mostly did, but <laughs> you know, anyway. Patrick. what's interesting is we actually just recently. I mean, maybe it's just an idea of getting out of your comfort zones. But we just recently had a conversation in one of these episodes about like trying new styles, like new yeah. fashion styles oh, yeah, out. Yeah. And it, it almost feels like the same thing, where it's like once you get like somebody being like, dude, I love that outfit, you're like, maybe I know how to dress myself. <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe I don't have the worst taste, and then yeah, you're like willing to try more things. Maybe I can sing. Yeah. That's a good um, one. Let's also consider like oh. actual worst case scenario that the people in her choir class are actually awful and super judgy yeah, and, and terrible. There is literally nothing wrong with just talking to like. Your, your choir teacher, whoever leads it, and just being like, hey, these people are super negative and it's really impacting me. I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels it. Can you just say something about how like, choir is literally supposed to be supportive and if people are being judgy, they need to not be. This goal is pretty. Um, I think, oh, I think yeah, it's nice good to, oh. to talk with the teacher. I think, I do think it gets a little dicey though, if, if that becomes like, you guys tell me what you think. To me, that that almost seems like asking somebody to like fight a battle for you. A little bit, yeah. Um, I mean, oh, oh, what? oh, I can't believe it. I was literally about to do my celebr celebratory jump. A little hop. <laughs> oh my man. gosh, it's coming flying at our goal. Woo. Woo I can't believe they blocked um, that. Right. Yeah, how, how do you guys feel about the like the, um, the ask like going to a teacher or a parent or I mean um, sometimes uh, th that sort of thing can be necessary and that's another like you know, confidence it's, thing it's, right like, I mean if it's like full on bullying oh that's a different thing, story that's, a, di that's mean, a different story yeah you don't want it to come across like tattling or something yeah. right sure you know? sure um, um, such a weird line oh I mean I think you need to measure your own threshold too like I think overcoming something like this and and the fact that like, you've even come to a to a YouTube channel to ask her advice is fantastic. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I think just asking advice on things and sure. trying to tackle More people it, should come to YouTube channels for their advice. Yeah, they this, should. This they should. YouTube channel. I mean, and by, I say YouTube channel representative of the idea of going to someone Somebody for else. advice on right. like, how to handle right. a situation. Mm -hmm. um, I, guess, I guess my sort of thinking there is that, like, if you can overcome this on your own, I personally believe the strength that you will gain from overcoming it will be massive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 for sure. It's for a good sure. life lesson. Good life lesson. Let's see, how did everyone else do? Are we number we two? Are! Oh my gosh, we guys. Are number two. Woo! Really slow start to the season. We have clogged our way back up. Clogged right on back up. We are but three games out though. My goodness, the Express. 
quite a buffer there. They have been yeah. on a, a little oh, bit of a heater. But look at this. Next episode, first of all, we're going to destroy Victor Crumb and the Dumb Seekers. Obviously. But then we are going to take down the Express. That's what's going to happen. Ooh. Hope for hope for hopefully. So who does Express play their next game? Between? Who do they have the next? They have the Rebels. Ooh, okay. We Ooh. just knocked down to fourth yeah. place. So that's a game they could lose. That is a game they could lose. It's, it's a top tier team. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll find out next time where we will also have some more questions from you guys to answer. If you want to leave us a question, put it down in the towel section down below. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to the video channel. Yeah, and be sure to go check out the Patreon. Yeah. Patreon.com oh, yeah. backslash. Super. No, just regular slash. <laughs> Super Carlin Gaming. I do this on all of our ad reads. Literally I say, all I say the backslash. Everybody does and then, that too. Yeah. yeah. Click anyway, the backslash. The, poor but the more that we talk about the backslash to Super Carlin Gaming's Patreon, I feel like it does also increase the chances that people may be interested that in someone might check Patreon.com slash Super Carlin Gaming. That's the one. Yes. That's the yeah. website. That's, That's the website. website. Anyway, we appreciate it, guys. We will see you next time. Chudley Cannon, Chudley Cannon. Boom, boom, boom. We are not pirates.